Season 3, Episode 41 of One Man's Opinion. Today I am reviewing Hartford Stage's production of Kate Hamill's comical adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, directed by Tatiana Marie Carlo, running through November 5th at Hartford Stage at 50 Church Street in Hartford, Connecticut. Before I go into the review, I want to invite everyone to visit my Patreon page, where you can, for as little as $1 a month, support this channel and help me meet expenses. There's some exclusive content and early content as well. Now to the review. This is the third time I've reviewed a production of Kate Hamill's adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, all of them here in Connecticut, and I have to say, Hartford Stage didn't have to go that hard with this show, and it would have been still enjoyable, but wow, this is an excellent production. Tatiana Marie Carlo and her design team have created a beautifully detailed show with some really off-the-wall performances that balance the dramatic tension of the leads. If you're not familiar with Pride and Prejudice, the story follows the Bennett sisters, Lizzie, played by Renata Eastlick, Jane, played by Maria Gabriela Gonzalez, Lydia, played by Zoe Kim, and Mary, played by Madeline Barker. Sorry, Catherine fans out there, she's not in this. Being that it's early 19th century England, the quartet of ladies are being pressured by their mother, Mrs. Bennett, played by Lana Young, to marry and ensure their financial security for the future. Jane and Lizzie are the eldest sisters and are particularly being pressured. During a party, Jane is paired with Mr. Bingley, played by Sergio Moritz Ong, a young gentleman who is looking for a bride. Along with Mr. Bingley is Mr. Darcy, played by Carmen La Civita, another gentleman who is less keen on the whole courtship procedure. When Mr. Darcy and Lizzie meet, their mutual disdain for the courtship ritual creates tension between the two as their assumptions about the other infiltrate their better natures. Along the way, we get a rather diverse menagerie of characters like the soldier Mr. Wickham and the clergyman Mr. Collins, both played by Sergio Maurizio Ong, who are attempting to woo Lizzie as well. Then there's the severe Lady Catherine de Bourg, who disapproves of Darcy's potential engagement into the Bennett family so he can marry her daughter, played by Maria Gabriela Gonzalez, who also happens to be his cousin. Along for the ride are Lizzie's friend Charlotte Lucas and her father Mr. Bennett, both played by Anna Scuria. Why this adaptation works, and what is Kate Hamill's genius here, is that the book is ripe for satirizing. And yes, this isn't technically a satire, but it is presented in mostly over-the-top zany ways. The grounding of the play rests between Lizzie and Mr. Darcy, which coincidentally is the weakest part of the show. Most of that has to do with the direction and acting of Carmen La Civita, who is terminally stiff as Darcy. Yes, the character should be a bit stiff and proud, but there needs to be something about him that draws Lizzie and the audience to him in spite of his forward shortcomings. There's no underlying charm. So he ends up being almost Vulcan-esque for those Star Trek fans out there with how cold he can be. Renata Eastlick does a good job giving balance to Lizzie, not making her too self-righteous that she becomes obnoxious, allowing her love for family to breathe as she deals with the tumultuous nature of marital arrangements. The zanier nature of the show comes from the supporting characters and the design that surrounds them. Madeline Barker in particular is outrageous as Mary. She and Tatiana Marie Carlo have turned Mary into this uh, awkward, grimy, oily-looking character. I, I, if, if she was better kempt, she might be more of a Wednesday Adams in an otherwise austere world of British society, frightening the rest of the cast just by being on stage. Meanwhile, Maria Gabriela Gonzalez plays Miss de Berg, Lady Catherine's daughter, playing the role up like something out of a horror film, floating the character across the stage with her face veiled and moving on tiptoe. Zoe Kim gets a lot of silliness her way too, as Lydia, who is classic camp and runs across the stage to hide and spy on her family to gather gossip, and her turn as Lady Catherine, coupled with Hady Zeladeth's costume design, turns her into the Queen of Hearts out of Alice in Wonderland. It's very clever and beautiful design. Sergio Maurizio Ong also gets in on the sillier end of things with his obedient puppy dog of a Mr. Bingley, right down to Darcy giving him orders to sit, and his Mr. Collins is disturbingly horny in a comically perverse way. The casting of Anne Scuria as Charlotte is inspired. Charlotte's character is only 27, and having a woman who is definitely older than that play the role plays to the satirical representation of the idea of being an old maid by the age of 27. Then there's all the costume changes, particularly for 
Anne Scuria, who is jumping back and forth on and off stage as she plays Charlotte and Mr. Bennett. I, she's going on and off almost every minute at one point. It's, it's wild and fun to watch. The balance of all the silliness and drama, though, rests on Lana Young's Mrs. Bennett, who is comic in her own right as she runs around in desperation for her daughters to find suitors, but also grounds the play in the more serious elements of the story, being a mother who wants her home financially secure for the future, regardless if there is love in a situation. As I said before, Harper Stage didn't have to go as hard as they did with this production, but I'm so glad they did. There could have been half the detail in the design and I would have been happy, but Sarah Brown created a marvelous set and Hades Zelladeth's costumes are perfect. Aside from what I felt were errant choices regarding Darcy, this is the best production of Kate Hamill's Pride and Prejudice I've seen so far and should tickle the audience through and through. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you'd like to see Pride and Prejudice, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get tickets. Visit my Patreon page if you'd like to financially support my channel, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be a Contemporary Theater of Connecticut's production of Sunset Boulevard. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the theater.